Thank you for joining us, everybody. Welcome to another informational webinar leading up to ILTCON 2024. Today's webinar will run about 30 minutes, and we are leaving plenty of time for questions at the end. I'm your host, Tracy McRae, and I'm joined by a team of amazing ILTA staff, Tyler, Ashley, Courtney, Jessica, and Sharon, who want your ILTACON experience to exceed your expectations. Before we start, I want to make a note that we're recording this webinar and we'll make it available with a copy of the slide deck within about 24 hours after the webinar. Please use the Q&A box whenever possible and the chat box for any questions. And with that, let's get started. When we created the webinar series last year, we knew we had to dedicate specific time to our new partners or anyone who is returning to ILTACON after a hiatus from exhibiting or participating. There is so much information, it can be overwhelming to even the most seasoned trade show professionals. So don't forget, there's a team here to help you. We're going to kick off today with some important notices and continue on through some ILTACON event informations end with housing and leave time for questions at the end. Important notices. As we draw closer to ILTACON, spam and scam artists come out of hiding, trying to get your money. This slide points out two of the most common popular scams related to events, attendee list sellers and housing poachers. You may receive these types of lists inviting you to purchase, uh, an ILTACON 2024 attendee list, it's not legitimate. Or inviting you to uh, book in the housing block with options at the Holiday Inn Express or the Courtyard Marriott. These do not come from us. Please don't respond to these. Uh, send them to us if you want to vet it for legitimacy. Um, but just know uh, these we don't sell our list. Um, and these type of solicitations for housing also won't be coming from us. One piece of uh, uh, one tool that we use to try and get you information about uh, any kind of scams or about ILTACON preparation in general is uh, the portal. So the ILTACON portal that you're seeing on your screen right now um, is going to be your one-stop shop. And you see that we've already got a note up there about beware of the scams and solicitations, as well as a few reminders um, and things that you may not necessarily uh, notice right off of the bat. You you see the checklists for success, which I'm going to cover in a minute. Under that, you see a menu bar that has badges, and badges is the first one that you see. There's also booth services, forms, future dates, housing, and some resources, and we're going to add more information to these as we receive the information. Um, and one note is that if you have not signed your contracts or paid your corporate sponsorship yet, some of the booth services ordering may not be available to you just yet. Moving into planning for ILTACON. It's generally divided into three major phases. There's before, there's during, and there's after. ILTACON doesn't end when you leave ILTACON. You still have to do follow-up. So before ILTACON, there is a lot of education. There are a lot of deadlines to be aware of. We're going to give you some checklists to help you keep you to help keep you on track um, and make sure that you don't leave anything undone. For ILTACON, we highly recommend that you have copies of all of your shipping information. I can't tell you the number of times I've had somebody want me to help them track down their shipping information, but they don't even know what carrier, UPS or FedEx or DHL, they don't know what carrier it was on, let alone the tracking information. Um, if you are not going to be at ILTACON, make sure that your booth staff has all of the information uh, printed as well as available in an electronic copy so that they can uh, get help that will be able to help them in a quick and efficient manner. 
after ILTACON, I can assure you our attendees do want to hear from you. So make sure that you are following up with your leads in an authentic way uh, that reminds them of why they stopped by your booth in the first place. They want to hear your targeted messaging. I mentioned checklist for success. This is a new one for us this year. Uh, due to popular demand and the our recognition that there is a lot leading up to ILTACON, we want to keep you on track. We've been working on these checklists um, with links. These are available in the portal. They are also available on our ILTACON website and I can talk about that in a minute as well. But they're they're monthly breakdowns of kind of what you should be focusing on when uh, to keep you in uh, tracking with where you should be um, as far as your milestones towards ILTACON. So in January and February, this has passed, of course, uh, you're trying to narrow down your exact goals. Why is attending ILTACON important for you? You're gathering up the demographic data to target your messaging. Um, March is a big one with things that we just went through uh, with uh, the corporate sponsorship renewals as well as the booth lottery and of course uh, the um, speaker applications. I could never let an ILTACON informational webinar pass without reminding you that speaker applications are open. So if you have a thought leader in your organization who would like to be in the ILTACON program as a speaker, please encourage them to submit their application sooner as opposed to later. Um, as you see on that note, 25% uh, of the applications are received in the final 72 hours. So stand out by applying early. A few more things that you should be thinking about in April as you move towards ILTACON planning, you're going to want to begin to think about your staffing and your travel. Um, we are going to be opening housing and badging next week. So this uh, checklist is going to keep you on track um, with your travel as well. And of course, the note about April 22nd being the last day to submit your application to speak at Ulticon. A preview into May with a lot of links, and these are mostly in the GES portal. GES is ILTA's general services contractor who will be building the booths and providing services like um, the carpet ordering or um, other types of things that you may need in your booth. And they have just a wealth of resources about how to navigate their online ordering platform, which does include a chat feature. If you wind up needing some help with your order, they can help with that. Um, and so the, this uh, checklist is just going to guide you through uh, a lot of those types of questions that you may be having with some legitimate source information uh, from our general services contractor. I'm going to talk through just a couple of important dates. Booth selection calls are running right now, and if you have not had your booth selection call, it should not be too far behind. Um, and if you think you should have had it by now, just reach out to your uh, business partner contact and they'll be able to help you with that. Uh, see the note again, speaker applications close. I cannot encourage you uh, enough, obviously, to get those in. Um, and then just a reminder that deadlines are closer than they appear. They are going to sneak up on you. Um, and so we will use a few ways to communicate uh, the deadlines to you. One of them is the business partner calendar. Um, the business partner calendar covers all business partner activity um, or all ILTA activity that may be of interest to ILTA's corporate sponsors, not just ILTACON. Um, and so make sure that you, you have this calendar bookmarked as well. It's on this page 
um, and I will get that dropped into the chat. Um, but it's on this page. If you scroll towards the bottom, you'll see the calendar um, and you can move forward and back to find any other things that might be of interest to you. Another note about the portal, I just want to show you the portal one more time. You see there is a panel about important dates. We're going to keep you on track. Uh, and so the portal is an important location for you to bookmark and to begin to familiarize yourself with. Of course, the only way that you're going to get this type of information, such as the links to the portal, your business partner contact, all of that is by making sure that your company's information is up to date. Uh, we have two links and um, we will make sure that those get dropped in the chat. I'm not sure if I have those bookmarked. If a member of our team could help with that, I would appreciate that. Um, but we have two links for you. One is just your general company information and make sure that we have that information up to date, the company description, what categories uh, your company falls under, as well as your social media handles. The other one is a more specific form related to who should we direct email to. If it's related to billing, we have a billing contact. If it's related to um, your ILTACON participation, you can designate an ILTACON uh, contact for that. Now I just want to talk briefly about some of the informational webinars. Of course, this is one. Um, they are set up to help you be successful with Iltacon. Um, if you haven't watched all of them yet, uh, we do post them on this page and uh, encourage you to watch them with your team. If you host a watch party with your team and take a picture of it and post it on social with the hashtag WeAreIltacon, we will enter you into a drawing to win a dinner <clears throat> at Old Hickory with our CEO. Excuse me. On to event information. This property is probably one of the largest under one roof. If you were interested in Iltacon last year at uh, the Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin and Disney's Yacht and Beach down in Orlando, Florida, that covered a lot of square footage, um, but some of it was outside. This is all under one roof. So you see down in the lower left hand corner of my screen, a red star that shows you where you are going to enter the hotel at Cascades Registration. Just remember that Cascades Registration uh, is where you will enter into hotel registration and do the guest room check. Um, and then there are so many different ways to get to uh, the Delta section, which is just towards the middle and up a little bit. Uh, the Delta lobby is where we're going to be having um, registration. That's the Delta BCD lobby, not the Delta A lobby, which is a different lobby. But it is a vast property. We know this. We are going to have ample signage as well as people um, at some key locations to help make sure that nobody gets lost and that everybody gets where they need to go. This is just a different perspective of that uh, Delta section up in that convention space. And you see it's three levels, convention center, um, or I'm sorry, the exhibit hall is on the bottom level in that. Uh, blue color, um, those vibrant fuchsia pink colors in the middle section. Those are the Iltacon education rooms, um, those blue all around the perimeter. Those are all demo rooms. So even though it seems like a very vast property, it's the, the convention area is very compact and it will make sense once you get there. And I promise we're gonna have a lot of signage um, and people who are gonna keep you on track. This slide, and again, uh, the recording of this webinar and a copy of the slide deck are going to be made available um, by tomorrow um, after this webinar concludes. Um, but this just gives you a brief overview of kind of some of the things that are going to be on each of the levels. So level one, uh, the Ryman's, uh, Ryman 
C is where the exhibit hall is. And there are also Ryman B. There are uh, some ex uh, demo rooms down there um, and a lunch option that will be for people who want to have just a quieter lunch. The second section, or I'm sorry, the second level, level two, is kind of the main education uh, conference area uh, where we are going to have a bulk of the company updates, education, um, receptions are going to be located there. Um, and then you see there are also um, the Tennessee area and a few mezzanines where different uh, demo rooms will be located as well. So again, it's a vast property. We're going to have a lot of maps and ways to make sure that you get your way around. So with that, I am going to turn it over to my colleague, Jessica, who is going to walk us through some of the items that we have as they relate to uh, space requests or housing. Jessica, take it away. Thank you, Tracy. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Um, we are so excited to get started um, with Eltacon planning and so um, pumped for you to be joining us. So a couple of big uh, items I know for um, your uh, checklists are <clears throat> number one, getting any space requests in for special events that you want to host in conjunction with Iltacon. So this might be a private dinner in one of the outlets. It might be a meeting in some of the meeting space. Um, whatever you're looking to host, um, we want to make sure that we find a place for you within the property um, however, it's important to note that the property will not um, be working with anybody until we make that introduction. Um, we do have a buyout of the hotel, so we want to um, make sure that we're able to connect you with them um, and get you a point of contact to get all of your planning done. So for requesting the meeting space, um, we do have a special link that will be sent to you with your um phone calls that are handled by your business partner representative. Um, this is a special form where you can give us some details on the event you're looking to host, um, as far as you know, how many people, desired location, date, time, all of that good stuff. Uh, please note that I have here listed um, several days and times where we are not allowing any special events to be um, hosted. Um, these are some of, during some of our main keynotes, and then also some major events that um, ILTA is hosting, and we just don't want any um, conflicts with that. In the slide deck, you will see that video um, hyperlink where you can see some of the spaces that are available, specifically the outlets, um, and also a link to some pricing options for buyouts, menus, et cetera. Note that there are several outlets for you to take a look at. There's the American Craft Tavern, Finley's, Fuse, Jack Daniels, Old Hickory, Ravello, and Solario Cantina. Um, please note that the Cascades and the Falls Bar and Lounge will not be available for buyouts. We do need to keep those um, specific outlets available to attendees that aren't going to any special parties. Um, we have other convention center spaces as well that are available. So we have um, and the Crystal Gazebo, the Lion's Head Fountain, which is beautiful. Um, we have at the Delta Landing, the Delta Pavilion on the Delta's Water Edge. Sound Waves, which is a fantastic water park, would make for a really, really cool event. Um, we've got some ballroom space held aside for um, these events and some pre-function space as well. Um, again, there's that video, the hyperlink to the video, um, and then the link for the pricing information. If you have any questions about reserving that space, please reach out to your business partner contact. Um, they will get you in touch with our events team. And again, we can talk through your event and then get you in touch with the hotel so you can work directly with them um, and make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, another key item for you to check off your bucket list is housing. So we will be opening housing on April 16th. That will close on July 11th. Um, in order to book housing, you must have registered and paid for your registrations. So that means if you are sending 10 people or five people with your company, you will need to assign those um, benefits 
um, and then have them each complete their registration um, because you will get the link to book your housing in your registration confirmation email. So that link and a special code in order to access the housing platform will be sent with that registration confirmation once that's all set, set and done. Um, additionally, if you're sending multiple people and want to put together a sub block uh, or a small block of rooms for 10 or more, you can submit a sub block request form. So that is hyperlinked for you there. That will come to our events department um, and we can uh, look at getting a small block of room set aside for you. We'll have a two to three week deadline. Um, that'll be determined based on when your form is submitted. Um, and we can either set up a link where you can share that with your team and they can book those rooms directly, or we can have you submit a rooming list um, and we can, again, take care of <clears throat> any master billing if you're going to have everybody be paid for on your corporate card or whatever. So um, if you have blocks or any you know special questions related to a small housing block, feel free to submit one of those request forms. And again, our housing um, and events team will get with you and make sure that you're taken care of. We'll get you a point of contact at the hotel, make sure you have credit card authorization forms, all of that good stuff. Um, a couple of notes. Oh, sorry, not quite yet, Tracy. Um, <clears throat> upgrades, suites are not available for purchase um, through the housing platform. So if you're interested in reserving a suite um, for your company, that will need to be done through your business partner contact. Um, just wanted to make note of that. And then also some key billing notes. Uh, please note that for every reservation made, there is a non-refundable one-night room and tax deposit collected at the time of booking on the card used to make the reservation. So it's really important that we are not booking rooms um, unless you're sure that you're going to use them. Um, because again, that deposit is non-refundable. If you're in a situation where, you know, you want to pay that deposit on a corporate card, just reach out to us ahead of time. We'll get a credit card authorization form and do a small sub block for you um, to make sure people's personal cards aren't being charged for that deposit. Um, and again, if you have any questions um, related to billing or setting up a block, feel free to reach out to us at housing at ltnet.org, um, or you can reach out to your business partner representative and they'll get you in touch with myself. Um, some basic housing information, the room rate uh, for a standard room is $249 plus tax and resort fee. So that does total $313.81 per night. There are limited atrium views available. Um, those are 289 plus tax and resort fee or a total of 360.31. Um, the resort fee, we do have that discounted, pretty heavily discounted um, with taxes, it's 21.85 per night. Um, and it does have some great offerings. So we've got the Sunrise Yoga, um, the complex shuttle to and from the Opryland and Opry Mills Mall. Um, <clears throat> We've got daily golf range access for two guests to include a bucket of balls, um, Wi-Fi access, uh, local and long distance calls if anybody's still using a hotel phone, um, bottled waters, fitness center, and then you do have a daily credit of up to $10 per dry cleaning, um, which is fantastic. Uh, final note here, just again, remember the non-refundable deposit of one night room and tax will be required um, at booking for all reservations. Um, I know Tracy mentioned this at the beginning of our call, but please, please, please be aware of housing scammers. We have received several notes of um, housing poachers reaching out to people saying, hey, we're the official housing bureau for Ilticon, book here. That is absolutely not the case. Um, we are managing all of that housing directly through us and the Gaylord directly. There are no third parties involved in the housing process for on this year. So if you receive that, please do not book. Um, there is no way for us to guarantee that those reservations are going through. Um, and I've unfortunately encountered uh, people who have lost some significant money um, booking through those poachers. So make sure to reach out to us um, and we look forward to serving your needs. Thanks, Jessica. Appreciate it. Um, one more note that we're going to begin socializing just about the Gaylord property, uh, the Gaylord Opryland, um, is that they're cashless now. And so they do have a few machines um, that convert your 
cash into a card with no fee that you can use. Um, but we will begin to also socialize in addition to non-refundable deposit when you make your reservations um, that the property is cashless. Although tips, of course, uh, for housekeeping or um, food and beverage can still be made in cash. With that, that brings us to the end of our prepared content. Um, and so while I leave this slide up on the screen, um, just a reminder, if you have questions, I'm going to see if there are any questions um, in the chat or in the Q&A at all that we would need to answer or um, any last reminders I may have forgotten that the team would like to bring up before we end. I am not seeing anything. Um, team, do you see anything? I'm just not seeing anything at all. Well, I hope that this webinar was helpful. If you are one of our first timers or coming back after uh, perhaps some type of hiatus in your exhibition with us, um, we hope that they are helpful. They are recorded for your benefit. Uh, watch with your staff. Post a picture with the hashtag WeAreIltacon. Get entered into a drawing to have dinner at Old Hickory um, with our CEO, Joy Heath Rush, as well as some key uh, ILTA volunteers. And with that, we will close today's webinar and wish you all a great rest of your day. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.